to it. I think if I'm going to choose one media to use for the next like 40 years of my life, I need it to be something that I feel passionate about. And if you just like something, if you just like it every day, and every day is nice, there's no passion there. It's just going to get boring. But for me, play is a roller coaster. Some days I hate what I'm doing. Some days I leave the studio early after smashing everything I touch that day. But then there are the other days, those days where I just can't stop. I forget to eat, I don't get home until 11 o'clock at night, I just... I'm so close to getting just that perfect shape, just exactly what I've been trying to get to, and it's right at my fingertips. And those are the days that make all those awful days worth it. The highs and the lows, that's why I love it. A lot of the work that I make is really passion driven. I don't do a lot of planning ahead in the strictest sense. Uh, I'll put a lump of clay on the wheel and say this is going to be a vase. But is it going to be a vase with a really Greek shape or is it going to be more oriental inspired? Maybe just something wacky and contemporary? But that I kind of find out while the clay is moving under my fingers. Um, sometimes I'll start a piece just knowing, yeah, when I'm finished this one, I'm going to carve a swirly texture on it. Is it a mug? Is it a bowl? Doesn't matter yet. Of course there are the times where I make things because I know I'm making things, and then it's, uh, well, I'm making these 20 mugs, and what am I going to paint on them? What am I doing when I'm not in the studio? Um, cause you can't ask me what I'm doing when I'm not making art, because I really think almost everything is art, you know? I think anything you look at, anything you can touch, everything's beautiful in its own way, and everything has an artistic element to it. Whether it was the person that chose what that chair would look like, or the person who decided that that's where they're hanging that picture everything has an element of art to it. I think, you know, I put on my makeup in the morning and that feels like art to me. I paint my nails, that's another bit of art. You know, when you get dressed in the morning, you're expressing yourself, and I think expressing yourself is what art is. I spend a lot of time hanging out with friends and my partner, we have good times together. Uh, I have a cat, she is the sweetest cat, she looks, she looks very grumpy, I've got to admit that, but she is actually so friendly. She runs to the door when I come home and I taught her how to give little kitty high fives. She's fantastic, she's a sweetheart. Um, I like to do a lot of reading in my spare time. I don't have a lot of spare time these days with school, but I know someday I'm going to get back into it and go back to a novel a week. Another thing I do when I'm not in the studio, I play foosball every Tuesday night, uh, kind of religiously. Every Tuesday night I play foosball. Uh, I would say I'm good at it, but the people that I play with have also been playing every Tuesday night for about five years more than I have. So I'm not the best foosball player I've ever seen, but if you want to come around, maybe I can hand your butt to you across the table and, you know, see how that goes. A great woman once introduced herself to me as Artsy Fartsy, and I said to her, what does that mean? Well, she told me she was an acting coach, she'd done a lot of theater herself, she sang, she danced, she quilted, she drew, she just dabbled in all the arts. She was artsy-fartsy. Um, and over the years I've been growing as an artist and I've really come to identify with that myself. Like, I love clay, I love painting, I love drawing, I sing, I dance, I take pictures just for me, but I also like to model for other photographers. Um, I want to be artsy-fartsy, that's, that's who I'd like to call myself.